Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports, guys. It's game time. It is game time. As you can see, we're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. Markel Fultz, J.J. Reddick, Ben Simmons, Dario Sarek, and Joe Embiid going up against my boys, Kyrie Irving, Marcus Smart, Gordon Hayward, Marcus Morris, and Al Horford. Let's get into it. Boom, boom. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello and welcome. Glad you could join us here on 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics playing against the 76ers in Philadelphia. For Philadelphia, coming off a loss in the first game of the season, they'll no doubt be anxious to put tonight's contest in the win column and avoid an 0-2 start. And here we are, start of a new season. So much drama coming out of the gate. Drama for your mama. Respect for the teams that are underperforming thus far. What can they do to try and right the ship? Look, early is early, so don't overreact. You can mix up the rotations a little bit. Don't be scared, coach. Do what you got to do. Well, first, you got to keep believing in yourself. But I love to play on the Oh, I'll bet you. Oh, I did, man. Really? You because didn't you get, liked him? Oh, because I used to, that's the only time I could really like, I look in your face in front of the other 11 guys and tell you how I really feel about it. Like, Akeem, you're killing us. No, nah, that doesn't. <laughs> it was more like, see, we should only give it to Akeem because he's the only one not killing us. Oh. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're on the road in Philly. It's the home of the 76ers here in Philadelphia. As we're going to, guys. We're going to. Today's action live we saw our earlier video, guys. We were talking about our profit margin and our sales and everything Chris like that. As far as our ticket sales and concessions and all that. Man, if we keep losing, those prices are going to go down when we start losing our fans. Right now, we got 100% attendance. If you didn't see that video, guys, the link is down below in the description. Consistent as you're ever going to see them. Well, because you can do a bunch of things well, but Bolts. if you're incapable of scoring, none of the rest of that stuff really matters. Last game versus Washington. Before we Washington. get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. Stats go too fast. Good evening, Kevin. Sixers head coach Brett Brown has gone through the lean years in Philly, but his coaching philosophy stayed yeah. constant during that time. He said, who's playing hard? There's a certain type that we're trying to Fans grow are excited. in Philadelphia. We've got to win a Boston jersey. I like that. we got a few Boston competing. fans out there. Kevin? Thanks, DA, and Philly loves guys that work hard. Uh, great attitude to build your team around. Let's for go, sure. boys. And still, Chris, a lot of Let's games go, boys. left. Talk about the marathon. Try to get our first win of the season, baby. Here we go. Boy, it seems like a lot. Man, and then, uh, for you guys that didn't see the other video, you to, to the channel, it's guys. It's all star so many all star downs of the season. Here we go. So many momentum changes. My GM. For others, that you have to keep a constant focus. And so, 82 games, you know, college, this is about 30 games. And so, if you're a rookie, you're playing Come about three Come on, baby. Get us on the tip. Get us on the tip, baby. You're going to get tired right before all-star break. So, how do you manage your body? How do you recuperate? How do you keep focus on those tough, cold nights during the winter? That all takes part in the being a becoming a great player. Yeah, real balancing act for sure. It is a balancing act. It's how do you figure out balancing your you mind, balancing your defense, focus, baby. and then balancing your body, staying off your legs. We're all about no, defense here, here in Boston. Like it's six. Let's go. Hands up, hands up. Here's Simmons. The there we go. The Let's Celtics. go, baby. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Yeah, that was more than just a tough loss. That that was a complete embarrassment. Well, Greg would have been. Let's go, Let's go baby. There you, there you go. There you go. Let's go. A couple of buckets and go right back into their ship. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Hayward outside of the three with Morris to his side. Good D, baby. Four. Good D. I like the Irving defense. I like the defense. Smart. Let's go. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so it's the Celtics Watch getting the pick. on the board Watch the pick. Come on, Horford, pick him up. Here we go. And that one. Horford, you got to roll with the pick, baby. I mean, you got to roll with the roll when you get picked. Let's go. Just over a minute played. Well, J.J. Redick had quite the interesting free agency period. Greg, ultimately, he signs with the 76ers on a huge one-year, $23 million deal. Yeah, and this is the team that wanted him. Great fit with his shooting, something that they obviously needed. And Redick had a lot of Good shot, man. Good shot. Let's go. 
with this young Philly core. Oh, the mid-range game, a lost art. Nice bucket by Smart. Embiid with a screen on Irving. Screen by Sharp. Running all over the place, three. ready? No good. Way to go, baby. Way to go. Takes it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against this 76ers team. And they didn't have much of a problem with these guys last season. And, and quite frankly, you wouldn't expect them to. Now, here is Morris. Now the best is smart. Horford sets a screen for Irving. Oh, for bad Fultz. shot. Oh, man, they got blocked. I love how high that was not a good uh, offensive possession right there. Utilizing his terrific width to spike shots back. Here's Fultz. Embiid the screen. They sent a lot of pitch right Fultz now, a lot of screens. Now guarded by Smart. And Sharich kicks to Simmons. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's Embiid. Oh, it's man, come on, guys. Embiid's got his first points in this one. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Now here's Hayward. Shoots from the baseline. Come on, Paul, baby. Paul, Paul, Paul. And a there you go. And roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper, first bucket of the day. That's all you want. It's a good shot to get yourself in the rhythm. For him, he's going to want a lot more than that to come. There you go. Way to cut the paint off. It's Reddick on the wing. Gets the all right, J.J. Reddick, boy. Reddick's got five. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't beat him. That North Carolina product. The feed to Oh, man, we had that pass. Back to Irving. Picked by Horford. Off the screen. Kept the line. Oh, good boy. Here's good boy. It's the front. Where's the foul, Ralph? Good boy, Horford. Fuck time they call a foul, man. Come on, Ralph. Exceptionally well on defense to come away with blocks like that. Yeah, good job to take it right at the defense. I mean, Al Horford has That's a beautiful rebound game. right there. Nice left hand. Shot, he can get a defensive stop. Ah, I couldn't get he the air one. Great screen. And let's not forget about his pass. He does it all. No good on the free throw. And you think about Al Horford setting screens. Chris, he can pick and roll, but he can also pick and pop. Well, what I like about that, and for those basketball nerds like myself, what that means is he can facilitate. So he's a threat. If he sets the pick, he can go to the hole and finish. But as a defender, you have to be careful because you just can't anticipate that he can step back and knock down the jump Man. shot. Oh, good rebound. Down. They didn't what box out, baby. Back, pump fakes, gives you a hands up, spins, and dunks on you. That's what they're talking about. Now here is Horford. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Second shot opportunity. Boston uh, again missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Pass to McConnell. Back to Bayless. Good. Come on, D. And Come on, D. Gets the assist. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. 76ers lead by three. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And J.J. Redick, a focal point in his tenure with the Duke Blue Devils, both offensively and That's right, he went to Duke. I keep thinking he went to North Carolina. Carolina. He went to Duke. That's right. I think I'll forever be associated with Duke and Duke basketball. Um, and obviously, that's a, a polarizing topic for some people. They like me. Some people don't like me. Uh, but I take a lot of pride in the fact that I went to school there, I got to play there, and I graduated from Duke. There's no doubt that he is Mr. Duke, uh, J.J. Redick, and it's hard to argue with that school's incredible success, Greg, whether you like him or not. And I know you've had a first-hand <laughs> view of Duke a couple times. Uh, you know, uh, and listen, I, I have the utmost respect for J.J. Come on, stay in the basket. Done that. And then listen, you could be known for a lot worse things in your life than, and, and, and haven't gone to a lot worse places. But, but I think for him, it's not about where he's been. Kev, I think it's about where he's going and what's going to be the next chapter in his career. 
And the second there we go. Let's go. Underway. No team gaining an edge so far. Push it out. Push it out. Guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? I think they play great D. <laughs> Come and, on, and Tatum. Not giving up anything easy early on. Yeah, closing down the lane, closing out on perimeter shooters. Interesting first quarter. On the floor for Boston. The ball, guys. Edward is out there with Tatum. Then there's Brown. Then it's Aaron Woo. Baines. And it's Rozier in at the guard position. And the Celtics building a new 70,000 square foot practice facility. They'll call it the Auerbach Center. Oh, yeah. Very impressive, bro. Set to open this spring. The Celtics, one of those forward thinking organizations. I'm not surprised to see them investing in their player development. Now, here is Horford. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet for wow. him. Wow. Get him, Brown. He started close. He feeds it to Johnson. He dishes it to Covington. Back to Johnson. 76ers moving the ball around. Johnson pick him up, pick him up. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, look, when you're giving up that type of height, you use your quickness. It's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Well, we always nice hear take about to the basket, some guys though. are locker room leaders or a veteran presence on a team. Chris, how quickly does someone establish themselves as a team leader? It's universally embraced by the rest of the team. It's tough. You know, some guys can come in and do it day one, but I think that we've seen a lot of leaders grow, whether it was a great leader like a two-time MVP in Nash. It took some years first for him to understand himself and then kind of let his leadership uh, just you follow that on the court. We bring that to today with a guy like a John Wall. It's taken him about four or five years to really learn to be around veterans, but guys are Thank coming you. in younger now. And so uh, I think that it's going to take a little bit of time to develop, but as long as they're continuing, Chris to, learn, as long as they're continuing to put the effort out, because you're a leader first by what you do, not by what you say. And so if you are wow. trying to figure your way out and work hard, then you're being a leader. People are figuring it out. It's usually when does the vocal part come in, uh, along with uh, kind of leading by an example. And so I think for every person it's different, but it's a lot of fun watching because when they get to that point, you've definitely seen some development and grow from them mentally and physically when you know they've taken over the reins like a guy like John Wall has. Good insight. And working Baines. Working Baines. Philadelphia able to claim oh. three. Johnson with the block. Oh, the rim protection from Johnson. One more thing that makes him special. And the swim dunk by Johnson. And oh, Philly trying to go on a run right now. Stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And Greg, he says, thank you very well, we much. We should be 30%. For the flush. But it's surprising, Cam, to see so little urgency on the defensive side. It's wow. Nice with them losing this game right now. <laughs> Philadelphia leading by nine. Covington. No, 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 no. Holt controls oh, the man. rebound and puts it back up and in. Holmes got his first two points of the night. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. And it's a completely new group here for Philadelphia. Then for the Celtics, Marcus Smart comes in I for Jalen Brown. Come in shooting better than Kyrie this. Irving in for Terry Rozier. Celtics trail by 11. More as a screen. Irving passes to Baines for three. Hayward sinks the triple. There you go, Hayward. Hayward Way back at baby. Seven points. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run. Oh uh, yes. Boston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. You're smart. The yes, the shot, shot smart. The oh, good defense there, but smart. Not going to target. Don't have to be in a hurry. Come on, guys, D up. Let's close this half out. D up. Question. It's not easy to be patient, but you really don't want to give up an extra possession. Here's MB. Up and what? in on the way. Embiid's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Woo. And there's no question Fultz has what it takes to be a lockdown defender, using his impressive wingspan and quickness to alter shots. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Kevin, thanks. Coach, what is your impression of the first half? Did we play? And I thought we found a really good balance of posting and pace. That's what we've been talking about. And uh, I thought our defense, for the most part, was excellent. A good start. We'll see how they finish. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille Let's see what they got to say. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period with three points being their largest cushion. Defensively and offensively, they improved quite a bit in the second quarter. And they've got a nice eight-point halftime lead to show for it. Let's start with you, Shaq. What would you think about the 76ers? Well, Kenny knows about this. I used to do this to his team all the time. Take advantage of you down low. Mismatch. Barbecue chicken alert. Make good entry passes. That led to some good looks. Obviously, a lot of points. When you control the pain, Ernie, you control the game. I was the master. All right, you got to control the pain. Look at that. We got 35% shooting. Well, Kenny, we, we're doing good in rebounds. We're right there with them. We, well, we're right there with them in assists. We got a block, so we just got to shoot better. The defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And now, folks, just moments away from the start of the third quarter. Look at Shaq. <laughs> Right, the second half beginning in just a moment. Gordon Hayward with another strong contribution so far in this one. Oh. Gordon Hayward is our Celtics man right now with seven eight. points, three for four. Redick and Simmons are the two and the three. Joel Embiid out there with Sharich, and it's Fultz in at the one. That's the group on the we floor. Gotta get Kyrie going, man. We gotta get our Irving start going. Good. Oh, that's just impeccable shooting from Irving. The D can get in his jersey all they want. It doesn't affect him one bit. And really few teams in NBA history have undertaken the sort of extreme makeover the Sixers did over the last four years. And a lot of losing along the way, but the fans have been surprisingly supportive of the rebuilding process. Here's Irving after Ben Simmons' bucket kicks to Horford. Shot clock at six. A high post shot. And they will call over the back on the play. Yeah, a little too physical on that play. Tries to climb. That was over, over the back the on us. Of them and gets whistled for Come on, it. You man. gotta be a little more in control than that. The officials are never gonna let you get away with that one. Volch kicks to MB. Inside. And wow, come on. We gotta play some D Morris. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And before the rebuild, the Sixers for a long time were stuck in mediocrity, treading water, Greg, as they ran so. Yeah, and it's, look, it's hard to make that leap without top draft picks. And, and the Sixers plumbed the depths. Come on! And now, though, I think they found their treasure trove. Now here's Simmons. Marcus Smart missing that last shot. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Out of bounds. Throw a lob in there, baby. <laughs> He's looking for him, trying to throw a lob. Come on, man. From tonight. Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for the Celtics. And they've pretty much ignored the corner three tonight. It's a useful shot to have. It really forces That's the your face, out man. wide and opens things up trying to throw the alley in the middle. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Picked by Horford. Irving kicks to Hayward. Over Simmons. That's good. The Philadelphia Lakers. Hayward got the high hand right now. We got to keep staying with Hayward. With the basket from Hayward. That's just another one for Hayward. He's built up his body. Now he has the strength and endurance to score at will. Screen by Sharp. And it's Simmons penetrating. And Ben Simmons, who was the first pick in 2016 out of LSU, probably the most heralded player to come out of that school since the great Shaquille O'Neal. And I tell you what, Simmons has drawn some comparisons to some other greats, most notably LeBron James and Magic Johnson. 
Well, the one thing you notice about the Celtics, they look for players with a chip on their shoulder. They want players with that inner fire, that, that love competition. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Robert Covington comes in for J.J. Reddick. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Brown comes in for Gordon Hayward. And the Australian Simmons, a, a star in the making, folks. Thanks really in part to that tremendous skill set to go along with that gigantic frame. Here's Horford. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Horford's got his first We just got to play some defense, man. And you look up and down the Celtics roster, Chris, a lot of guys who play with a chip on their shoulder. Well, that's how you build a culture. It rubs off on the other players. I mean, you have to find those guys, though. It's not something you can teach. Now, Come here's Tatum. Stay with him, baby. It's Covington on the wing. Here's Embiid. Back to Covington. Shot clock at two. Kept the line. No! He can't get that one to fall. Celtics trail by seven. Brown outside. Come on! A shot. No good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Come on, guys. We need to stop. We need to stop, man. To Over Irving. And the defense. He in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Three and seconds? He was checking him. Coming off a terrific season. Third and free throw. Oh, that, that was on there. Okay, I was getting ready to say. Come on, y'all. points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. And just going back to his free throw efficiency. It's about confidence when you're at the line. You've always said it. He had it. That's how he ended up with the top three ranking. Out of wow. And two for one. That's what they'd like to get right now. Wow. That's a correct play call. But let's see what they do right now. Well executed, and then you love the strong finish. So many fast breaks now in the three-point shot. Good to see them taking it to the rack. Here's Horford after the Sixers pick up two. Shoots over Embiid. Boston again missing. A 76ers leading by nine. Up top, Simmons. He's covered by Brown. Holmes passes to Fultz. Dishes up to Simmons. Crash, crash, crash. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. The third quarter comes to a close. 76ers ahead, up nine. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Now let's listen into the huddle of Brad Stevens. Hey, bottom line is. Good things are going to happen. Bad things are happening. How you respond is the biggest key. Let's go. And Brad Stevens moments ago focusing on what they can do now rather than worrying about what's already happened. Yeah, and this is all you can do. Put all of your energy into this moment. The, the past, the future, they don't matter. Just one quarter left in regulation. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the floor for Boston. Morris is the four with Horford in the middle. Smart is out there with Rozier, and it's Tatum in at the three. And the NBA game is evolving, Chris, you know that. And if you were starting back at square one set and trying to develop your skills to prepare yourself for a pro career, is there anything you do differently to prepare yourself for how the game is being played now? Oh, that's a great question. Come on, Ralph! You know, I remember playing in Washington, and I shot over, like, 35. They're killing us down here. Point line. And I remember in the paper they were saying, you know, we don't need big fellas to do that. So I got right back in the post. And so the game has changed so much. And so I, I would really say that I would balance the work that I did in the post with outside of the post. I would just make sure that I would continue to, to stretch the floor as far as three-pointers, uh, to give guys uh, room to drive. Uh, and I would have uh, definitely continued to work on my ball. Handling, maybe where a picker could have screamed for me, and then I could have been the initiator since in most times I was kind of that, that, that point forward. But for the most part, um, no, I, I would have tried to put the same effort in, but talk definitely with different Webber, skill talk, sets. Um, you get to play differently now. You know, when we think about it, I, I don't think Larry Bird got to shoot two three pointers a game. Imagine if he would have got to just let seven go. You know, I don't know what we would ask him, except uh, would you have to ice your wrist after games a little bit more because you would maybe shoot more. So I think the freedom would have been fun. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. Turn up the heat. Now here's Shorich. 
Johnson with a screen on Morris. Here's McConnell. 76ers with a fresh shot what? clock. Yep, that one goes in there. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Now a timeout called by Boston. Oh, and, and the Celtics bringing in Brad Stevens as head coach in 2013. That same summer, they made their blockbuster trade with the Nets. Two home run moves for their franchise. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. He got on them. He said he's got to see more intensity. Come on, we Rip! We ourselves in this hole, and we've got to work our way out of it. Show me you've got what it takes, guys. Now, here's McConnell. Left side, Sharich. And Boston with the rebound. And the Celtics signed Brad Stevens to a six-year contract to lure him away from Butler in college basketball. Chris, they were very confident he'd be a great coach. Well, they might want to pull out their pen and have him sign another six-year deal real quick because he's already established himself as one of the league's top coaches. Now, here's McConnell. He's tightly guarded. And wow, they're killing us, man. They are killing us right now. Pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. Celtics trail by 14. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Morris, no good. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> Best laid plans, right? Well, I'll tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every single time. And the wide open shot from Reddick. No good with the triple. For Boston, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Boston again missing. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding. You know, I mean, there had to be a better option that time down the court. That's just a missed opportunity. Now, here's McConnell. Feeds to Red. Fires the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. No game game. Well, she's so Sixers lead by 17. Boston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the 76ers. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a this rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season. Foul shot. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Johnson. Wow, he owned this game. He never stopped working. He did it all for them, and you can't help but admire that kind of effort. We came down here in Philly, now, man, and got our bus come. whipped. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Even though we lost, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We bring some great, bring so some great gameplay with my jam. Tonight, folks, uh, NBA 2K18, guys. And we showed you our finances in the last video. Like I said, if you didn't see that video, the link's down below in the description. Presented by 2K Sports. So long. And as always, until next time, everybody, thanks for watching.